tonight I shall be testing my newly made spindle gouge while at the same time making a much needed carver's mallet. In its current form this uh, rather big log won't uh, turn in my small lathe. So uh, I will be abusing my good old chisel one more time. As you can see I could uh, really use a uh, carver's mallet. Although it is amazing how long this wood survived uh, after the metal band broke off and the handle split. It's about 10 years ago that this, uh, that this uh, split and since then it has taken quite a bit of abuse. It could be a nice project to try and replicate this uh, original handle. Something for another time. I uh, sharpened uh, the edge as good as I could using this uh, old stone that came with the lathe. It has a rounded off edge so I could uh, deeper the inside with it. Um, it is really sharp and I will now test it on my fingernail. No problem scraping a bit off. I'll do that again later on when I rub down the lock see how good it uh, held up. I'm ready to start testing and this uh, side branch here will be a real challenge for uh, my new chisel. A real good testing opportunity. I'm running the lathe very slow because it's pretty uh, unbalanced. Whoa, that's hitting pretty hard. Uh, I don't know if you can see that but uh, it looks uh, like uh, a few chips broke out of the tip so that's not good. And there's also a burr there. Um, there was some uh, some sand on the on the log so that didn't help but uh, this doesn't look promising. Let's speed it up a little. Whoa, that's hitting really hard. Well, it's not bending, so that's good. I like the handle, feels good. <laughs> A huge peach just came off. No more chip. Uh, no more chips have uh, come off the tip. So that's good.
let's speed it up a bit more. Uh, now the bench starts moving. So it's still out of balance. Whoa. Let's see what it looks like. This is a uh, oak, by the way. Lots of chips in the uh, lens hood. Let's uh, speed it up a bit more. Yep, the uh, vibrations are gone. Tool rest is close. That's not good. Oops. My bad. Moved in the till stock. <sighs> It'll be fine. I'm getting close to round. If you have too much overhang. You can feel the tool bending. On a heavy cut. bit is hard to cut but this feels more safe in your hands much more rigid but I think it's uh, starting to lose its edge On that heavy cut, it, uh, I felt it bending. Of course, it doesn't help that the handle is a bit loose. I uh, reground the tool, but uh, it was hard to get a good edge on there. And this pit over here and its cousin here are really hitting me hard. I'm getting close to the hardwood. Which is good because I want the carpenter's mallet uh, made from hardwood. See what I mean? Nasty stuff. But I, uh, but I must admit that this log is uh, drier than uh, I expected it to be. 
and of course oak is not the uh, softest wood to cut but it's a good test my uh, my pile of chips keeps growing there are a few logs of uh, wet wood hiding underneath it there behind the uh, legs well the sap wood is almost gone and this is supposed to be the hardwood but uh, I find that the uh, cutting is uh, getting easier probably because of the uh, water that is still uh, in the core of the log So now I gotta decide which end of this lock is gonna be the handle and which end is gonna be the head. But I'm gonna do that uh, in another video because this one is getting too long. So that pretty much concludes testing this homemade uh, chisel. It, uh, I think it worked fine, but I did need to resharpen it. And now it's it's not as sharp as when I started the job also in the beginning um, a few small pieces got chipped off the cutting edge this might be because of the grind being a bit thin in some places there was also some sand um, in the park which sure didn't help the handle held up fine it was uh, um, a lot more rigid than Mr. Benny and it uh, felt nice to use. More testing will be needed to really find out if this tool is any good. Um, time will tell I guess. Alright. I guess you have to wait for uh, the mallet. Well there's plenty of mallet videos on the internet anyway. But mine will be amazing.